Hello, family. This is Lotus Love coming to you for the very first time, and I am so excited. I'm so excited that we are finally, finally, finally together. I know we've been introducing ourselves via our Instagram account, so for those who are not following us on Instagram, please go over to Lotus Love Tarot 555. We're right there, and thank you so much for all the love and support that you have given to us thus far. Now, we're going to go ahead and begin the readings and I'm going to go ahead and begin with the shuffle. Now be mindful that these readings may not resonate with everyone, okay? And that's okay. If it does not resonate with you, go and make sure you check your other signs. So these messages could resonate with your sun, your moon, or your ascendant, also known as your rising sign, and even check your Venus, okay? Also be mindful that the messages do flip-flop. So if it doesn't relate to you, it could relate to your partner, okay? And also, lastly, remember there's no timing where it comes to these messages. It could happen, have happened yesterday, three months ago. It can happen in the near future. So be mindful of this as well. Now, also, don't forget to... Uh, catch us on our email, okay? And that information can be found down below. All right, listen, we are ready to get started. I'm going to go ahead and begin with the shuffle, and then we're going to fast forward through the shuffle not to waste too much time, and we'll get right into your reading. Hello, my Sagittarius. Let's get right into your reading. Pray everyone had a wonderful new year. Ready to start 2019. Yes. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe. What are your love messages for the sign of Sagittarius? What messages would you have us know? Sign of Sagittarius, Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe. What messages need to come through for the sign of Sagittarius and love? For January 2019. Holy Spirit, the Bible of the universe. What messages that we have for the sign of Sagittarius? January 2019. Oh, okay. Starting out with the bad. Oh my God. Sagittarius. Oh, goodness. Okay. I'm going to put three on this side. And I'm going to put three on this side. That's what Spirit is telling me to do. We generally only start with one on each. But apparently there's a lot that needs to be said, my Sagittarius. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator, the Universe. What messages need to come out for Sagittarius in love for January 2019? What messages need to come out? For the time of Sagittarius for January 2019. The Spirit of my universe. Give me the messages for the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, thank you. Okay, once again, since that one was flipped, I'm gonna put that one here and put those two there. Okay, we have a lot to talk about, my Sagittarius. I can tell already. We have a lot to talk about. Holy Spirit, the Lord of the Universe, what are the messages for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2019? What love message needs to come through for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2019? Spirit, divine creator of the universe. Okay, my Sagittarius, we have a lot to talk about, but just what I'm seeing looks like uh, we got some passion going on. Give me the love messages for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2019. Okay. I see some cards are trying to come out, but we need them to. Ball, so I can just be very clear and I need a spirit tells me to pull one and I'm not feeling to pull right now so we're just going to keep shuffling okay there we go okay once again ok 
Okay, we're gonna put two here. Oh my goodness. And we're gonna put, we have a lot to talk about. I think this is, well, we had a few more readings earlier that had a lot of cards that fell at one time, but I think this is the first time each shuffle I've done, I've had multiple cards. Holy Spirit, okay, we're gonna go with these because they already were up underneath my fingers. Okay. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what messages would you have for the sign of Sagittarius? In January 2019, what messages for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2019? Look at the sign of Sagittarius. Okay, okay. Get this in order, my Sagittarius. So I can read this right. Because we have a lot going on here. A lot. Okay. These are the first three cards that came out. Well, you really remember you had all six together, but Spirit told me to put three on one side and three on the other. So engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. Beautiful. Past life relationship, could this be a twin flame? You have known each other before. And soulmate, yes, this is your soulmate. Beautiful, beautiful start. Let's see where we're going with this. Then it goes to keep your eyes on your targeted intention. So that means stay focused on this relationship because the person you're asking about is trustworthy. Oh, this is beautiful, Sag. This is beautiful. Then here we say pay attention once again. I mean, the cards never lie. Look at that, pay attention. Same thing as keep your eyes on your targeted atten attention. It says, no repetitious signs and your notice repetitious signs and in your inner guidance as this can yield valuable information. And synchronicity, your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. So look at your events and things that are happening in your life. Notice them in order to increase their flow. Beautiful. Then we go to everything is okay. Everything, you're starting to hear wonderfully. And admit your true feelings to yourself. So if you have true feelings for this person, admit them. Because you know, you know what you all, Sagittarius. And then we have no here. So we're going to have to do some clarifying what no is. But I'm thinking no is here, everything's okay. I feel like you're questioning something. Clearly, I didn't even read this. It says, don't worry. It's all working out in a beautiful way. So... Whatever your feelings are, thinking everything is not okay, they're saying, no, everything is okay. Okay, so don't even let your mind even go there. Okay, beautiful, starting out. Let's see what the second message is in love. Chemistry. You have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. Oh, Sag, you deserve love. You are lovable. And this is a new love for you. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. Okay? But you have to forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. So I'm going back here again to this no and everything is okay. It might be something that you're harboring from the past. Okay? So you have to forgive yourself about it so you can free yourself for this new relationship for those who may be single going embarking in a new relationship. And if you are already in a relationship, it doesn't mean that, you know, somebody's bringing in somebody new, especially for my cross watches. That's not what it means all the time. Sometimes it just means that the relationship has, or has uh, is ascending to another level. It's being rejuvenated. So you have to go with what res resonates with you. Then we have playtime. So the dolphins know the importance of playing as joy creates miracles and, and manifestations. So don't take yourself too serious. Have a wonderful time with this, okay? You know, be lovable. Be playful. Enjoy it. Because you got the power, okay? 
This is use your ability to resolve the situation. You can do it. And we're talking about this. It just came right up underneath this one. Forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong because you've got the power. And then connect with nature. And I always say this. If you, you, know, if you need to just energize yourself, go out in nature. You know, go out to a beach. Go sometimes just sitting back looking at the trees or going to a lake. Connect with lake. And look, I didn't even read this. It says, because you're reju rejuvenated and inspired by spending time outdoors. Take the time to do that. And look at this. Let go. Let go. Does it get any beautiful than this? Oh, my goodness. It doesn't get any beautiful than this. Okay, at this time, let's get your final love message. See what spirit wants you to have for your final love message plan. I always feel like we, have to, we need to have a plan in love. Oh, Sagittarius, that is beautiful. Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe, what is the final love plan for the sign of Sagittarius in the month of January? 2019, Holy Spirit, divine creator of the universe. What is the final love plan for the month of January? 2019 for the sign of Sagittarius. What is the final love plan for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2019? What's the final love plan for the sign? Okay. Oh, there you are. There's that fire energy. Okay, Holy Spirit. What are the final? Okay. Plan, the final love plan for the sign of oh my goodness. Okay, we got a lot going on there. Just this. Okay, my Sagittarius. The first card out was the Knight of Wands, followed by the Queen of Cups, the Six of Swords, the Three of Cups, the High Priestess, the Wheel of Fortune. The Five of Swords. And your overarching energy is the King of Wands in reverse. Okay, so let's see what's going on with this. So we're starting with the Knight of Wands. This means action, adventure. And this is definitely you because you're that energy that likes to do and go. Okay, so this is starting off action and adventure. So you, you, this is why all these cards have come out because you're taking action this month in your love life. And what you're doing is you're bringing your cup of love, compassion. And I'm looking at how she's looking at him. Okay, even though this, he's looking at another direction because he wants to take action. But whoever energy this is, her focus is directly on this person right here, giving her love, her compassion. Could be him too. Remember the energies. Could be him or her. No gender base. But it's truly um, a love here. Uh, I, I feel gentleness, compassion. Okay, it's beautiful. But then this also tells me with these two energies, somebody's had to move on. Somebody's had to move on from, from something, and maybe this is going up to this cart right here. This is why you might need to forgive yourself. You've done nothing wrong. Maybe somebody's had to walk away from a relationship, and then followed by the let go. You maybe had to walk away from a relationship so this can begin to manifest. Okay? And three, we know this could mean celebration or a third-party situation. So clearly... Um, this could definitely have been a situation where, you know, somebody had to make a decision or this could be celebrating the newness of this love. So you have to figure out what's, what resonates with your situation because somebody has had to go within. Okay. Somebody has to tap into their wisdom. Somebody has to go and listen to their inner voice of what it's telling them to do because 
a change is happening. With the will, a change is happening. Okay? Okay, there, there, this is a new cycle that is about to begin. But even with this new cycle and the five of swords, you know, somebody, you have to think about what had to take place in this situation because a sneakiness had to take place, okay? Um, somebody did, did what they had to do at all costs, no matter, you know, who had to get hurt. And that's why I'm going to keep going back to this card. Somebody feels guilty about something or they felt that they made a wrong decision. Maybe not a wrong decision. I think not the wrong. That's not what I'm trying to say. They went about it the wrong way, okay? Because when I get this card right here, I will always look at his face. His face looks so sneaky, like I'm going to do whatever I have to do to get what I want to get, no matter who I have to hurt. And this is what I'm seeing here, okay? So even though this may have uh, happened, you have to forgive yourself for it. And again, you have to take whatever resonates with you. Clearly, true love is here. Um, but maybe the choice in getting to this love uh, may have had to hurt somebody. And then the ending, uh, overarching energy is that King of Wands um, in reverse, which means that somebody was very impulsive. Somebody was overbearing. You see, we started with the Knight of Wands going out to get what you want, but it became overbearing towards this end. And so now that's why you have to bring it in. You've got to let it go. You got to let, let go whatever happened to transition you from here to here. Okay, and look at that. I picked up the, the Knight of Wands in reverse, and look who was behind it. Because you're going to get your wish card. Look at that. Your wish is going to come true, Sag. Because you are going to bring that cup of love, but you have to bring it slow. You have to bring it slow. Because you have to deal with the situation that you're feeling about yourself and understand that you've done nothing wrong. Okay? Um, well, you have to forgive yourself. So maybe you're guilty about having to let a third-party situation go. But I feel like the message has come forth. Let's get what the final, final messages are from my love Oracle decks. Deck. Holy Spirit, Divine Creator of the Universe. What is the final love message that the sign of Sagittarius needs to take away for January 2019? I love the message for the sign of Sagittarius for January 2019. Oh, okay. Okay, here we go. Flipped that all by itself. I didn't have to shuffle that much, my goodness. When you pass from this world, you take nothing with you but your soul and your memories you have shared with those you love. So what this is saying is that Take time right now, Sagittarius, to do what you need to do. Because what they're saying is when you pass from this world, you can't take anything with you, okay? But your memories that you have shared with those you love. So right now, all of this, this that has occurred, okay, make good memories. You know, make sure we're making good choices on how we're prog progressing to love. I'm going to pull one more for you. I feel like we need one more. Here, it's telling me this pull one more for you. I think that says a lot, but oh my goodness, maybe it is. Okay, I'm always gonna do more than one more. Okay, we're gonna do it in order that it fell. Imagine all unwanted thoughts dissolving into light, creating room for new opportunities and possibilities for your life. Look inside yourself. Examine what is causing you to feel this way. Okay, so it's coming more clear. Okay. Freedom. There's nothing stopping you. The path is clear if you want it to be. Okay, so you're free to go about and do what you need to do and, and, and make the decisions that you need to make. And passion, a magnetic and seductive quality surrounds you at present. Enjoy it. And Sagittarius, we know that you're very passionate. All right. I hope that resonated with you. Don't forget to follow our Instagram at Lotus Love Tarot 555. Also, we will be back in February with your next love reading. And around mid-month, we'll come back with makeup or breakup just to get an idea of what you should make up or if you should break up in your situation that you're in right now. All right. Have a wonderful, wonderful January, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.